You're watching Tap Out T. And we're back. Today we got two purple belts fighting. We got the Haro Shimashina and Jordan fighting. And I don't know much about Jordan. Jordan's a newcomer to the gym, and he said he'd be willing to be on my videos. So yeah, thanks Jordan. Now because I couldn't find anyone to film for me this week, we have two purple belts rolling, and I decided to film them. So you're going to see a white belt commenting on a purple belt roll. If you notice something incorrect, please let me know in the comments below. Note the timestamp and I'll take a look at it. I've started cataloging all the comments from you guys in an Excel file and we'll be practicing what you guys tell me. Rest assured that your hard work won't go to waste. So from what you can see, Jordan has a pretty good open guard. I'm not able to get past it a lot. And obviously it's really hard for me because he has big legs. But he has long legs, I should say. And Paul is just basically in his guard right now. And he's doing what a lot of you guys tell me to do. He is basically standing up, putting his knee in, and watch. There he goes with the knee slice. Let's watch that sequence again. Stand. Knee. Slice. So after watching that and breaking it down, I tried that guard pass on a different purple and it didn't work because they knew what I was up to. So now Paul has him set up for a Kimura, but Jason gets onto his back and he doesn't allow the Harushi Machina to get that. So now what Paul does, because he was anticipating this, is he props him up and he throws his wrist under his neck just like that. And he's getting him ready for the next choke. Does anyone know what that choke is? Get a cookie if you know. It's coming up real soon. The Darce Choke. It's a great tap, wasn't it? Time for the next round. He's gotta wipe his nose real quick. Oh yeah, I love Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Puts his knee in, never works when I do this. And by that I mean his trademark knee slice pass. So he's hugging him, and now he's just going to go for the knee slice. So then Jason basically pushes himself out. Now let's see that again. So Paul has his hand down there. Jason uses his arm as a post and then trims out, but then Paul grabs his legs. And then he does the tie-up. That's my favorite move, the tie-up. He grabs his legs, does the tie-up. Now he gets in. Oh, he has a headlock. So this is side control. I wouldn't know what to do here. I would just try to pop my head back, but you guys in the comments can let me know. He lets go of the headlock. Ooh. His favorite remove is about to occur. Oh, wait, no. So he immediately goes for his back. And then Jordan goes to his side and goes for the Darce choke again. That's a really interesting, actually. The Darce Choke. Now that was crazy. I don't know about you guys, but I want to see that again. So well, let's break it down. Uh, side control, kind of a Darce position. Then to the back. Then he went there. Put pressure on him and then he got into the Darce again. Oh man, that's crazy. He's like five levels above me. It's freaking insane. Oh my god, that smile is terrifying. <laughs> Gotta put a stop to that because I'll get a copyright strike, but you know, beats what I usually say during the roll. Diaboshka, tupa tup. Alright, so check this out. He's in his garden, he's trying to pass it, but. Basically, Jason flattens out and watch. Oh, scheiße. Yes, yeah, sometimes I will curse in other languages. That's just the way I roll. Not gonna lie, that's a pretty intense scramble. And I just don't know how he does this. He always lands into like a position where he can get something. And I need to build that skill. Like, it's just, I really like watching him roll. It's fantastic. I admire his rolling skills. Immediately, he pu pushes him off. Like, he just knows what's gonna happen two steps ahead of it. It's just, that's the amount of jujitsu that these purple belts know. It's really insane.
He's crushing his legs together, putting him in fetal position. I wish I had this good of an open guard. Oh! He went for an attack, just right there. He dove in for the guillotine. I don't think he's gonna get it though, he lets go. Okay. So yeah, it's the knee thing again. I gotta figure out how to use it, because I broke it down for you guys, and I tried it multiple times this week after I, while I was editing this video, and it just didn't work for me. This time he's not grabbing him by the leg or anything, so it's just different. Yeah, he's hugging him. They're getting close to each other. You know, ooh, he falls onto his back. Oh yeah, it's over for him. There you go with an ankle lock. Look at these two getting all chummy right before something crazy is going to happen. Paul's going to pick up the pace. Watch. Immediately. And something crazy happens. Something that he's known for. Yes, now you. Yeah, so she sings better than me anyway, but yeah. This is basically it for it. I mean, we go to the bell. I guess they go to the bell. I shouldn't say we. I'm so used to talking about myself, but yeah. This was a great role. I learned a lot from it, and I know I'm a white belt, but you know, it's good to watch higher belts roll. I mean, you know... I'm getting hammered a lot and getting destroyed, so might as well throw up a video of someone else. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys like my video, please like, subscribe, and share my content. Again, you will get more white belt rolls. I probably shouldn't have narrated this, but this was the video I had. So thanks, and you guys have a great rest of the night. Bye.